Dear all, welcome to my channel Navin Velchuri. In today's video, I am going to design a two input OR gate by using CMOS logic with the help of a DSCH tool. So, all of you know the rules to design any CMOS logic circuit. Here, that will be represented with the help of a universal gates NAND and NR. Always, NMOSs in the NAND relation should be connected in series and PMOS should be connected in parallel connection. In similarly, in the NOR relation, NMOS is connected in parallel and PMOS are connected in series connection. So, NAND or R relations should be same. So, if you observe the structure of a 2 input R gate, it is an opposite operation of the 2 input NAND R gate. That's why a 2 input NOR gate will be designed first. After that, the output of the 2 input NOR gate is connected with an inverter circuit to get the output operation of the 2 input OR gate. The same thing will be designed by using a DSCH tool. So, here I have taken a DSCH tool. Uh, first of all, I have to design a 2 input NOR gate. So, 2 PMOS transistors are connected in series and 2 NMOS transistors are connected in parallel to get the two input NOR gate operation and the sources of NMOS is connected with a ground terminal and the source of PMOS is connected with VDD supply voltage. Now take a metal line by using that metal line you can connect all the required components. So first of all I am showing the uh, component name its width and length values on the terminals gate drain source terminal of particular transistor values I am showing here. So series connection means one transistor drain is connected with source of another transistor and parallel connection means source of one is connected with the same source of another transistor and the drain of one transistor is connected with the drain of another. I am taking a metal line and I am connecting series connection of PMOS and uh, parallel connection of NMOS and the source of NMOS is with, with the ground is connected and the supply voltage is connected with the source of the PMOS. Now you have to connect drains of both PMOS and NMOS together. Now to connect the input values I am taking the two buttons button 1 and button 2 to connect the two com common inputs for the pair of PMOS and NMOS, I am changing the names of that particular inputs are labeled as some A and B. Now by taking a metal line, I am combining those inputs uh, that means applying those inputs with NMOS and PMOS fades. And I have to take the output value from the combination of PMOS and NMOS connected that drain terminals of PMOS and NMOS combination from there you have to take the output terminal. The output should be connected with an inverter so I am designing an inverter circuit. To design an inverter I require one PMOS and one NMOS transistor. So I have taken a PMOS and NMOS and both will be joined with a common input line and both drain terminals are connected and source of NMOS is connected with ground. So I am extending that the line and I am combining with the common ground terminal and I am extending a, a source of PMOS and I am extended so PMOS source is connected with the supply voltage and output of NOR gate is connected with an input of inverter circuit. Now I have taken a LED to verify the output of entire circuit that is to input OR gate. Now the structure is completed. So after completion of design you have to save your design with an extension of .sch it will be saves. Next, you have to 
generate very log file before going to that you have to select the in which nanometer technology you are using to generate in very log file that very log file is saved with an dot v extension as clearly we have verified in the previous videos also also till now we have designed a inverter circuit and a two input nand gate and a two input nor gate and and gate operation also we have verified now the symbol is also generated which is in logic symbol it will be saved with an extension file of dot svm then you have to verify the functionality of your two input or gate so go for the simulation in that open the truth table option here run your logic simulation after completion of simulation you have to extract the truth table if you observe the or operation if both inputs are active and neither any one input is active then output is compulsory in active condition and only when both inputs are zero then only output will be zero so this is the functionality of a two input or gate which was verified by using a dsch tool now the layout of two input or gate is designed by using a micro window 3.9 tool here for that select the nanometer technology then open the compile option from that compile a very log file which was generated in the designing of a schematic circuit now call that dot v file for the or gate and compile that one if in the compilation there is no error will be found there then open the editor window which gives the layout representation of your two input or gate circuit for that you have to apply input values and assign an output value to verify the simulated outputs so here i'm applying the label a that is a input value with 0.5 uh, high time and low time as in 0.5 nanoseconds and similarly for the b also i am applying some different value with a because of comparison representations then run simulator now to get the clear output value i am selecting a 5 nanometer uh, scale time scale here if you observe in both inputs are 0 0 then only you got the zero value and remaining all three cases you get output value as active high value so this is the operation of a two input or gate and you may observe the power combination that is consumption of power to run the simulation and the delays in between the input a with output and input b with output you can observe and also the temperature how much that will be generated within the components is also we may observe so this is the functionality of two input target we may observe.